Piers Morgan calls Trump a bull in a China shop but warns British public to hold your nose to allow him UK visit. Piers Morgan has lifted the lid on his interview with Donald Trump, calling the US president a bull in a China shop but urged Brits who were not fans to hold your nose when he visits the UK in order to help UK trade interests. The former CNN host and Celebrity Apprentice contestant was speaking on BBC One asked The Andrew Marr Show about his Trump scoop, which took place at the World Economic Forum in Davos. He told Marr that it is quite surreal when a friend becomes the most powerful man on earth. It has emerged that Trump is likely to make two visits to the UK later this year, with Morgan suggesting one would take place in the middle of the summer around the NATO summit, which takes place in Belgium in July, and one later in the year. We've got to be careful. We've given state visits to Vladimir Putin, President Levin, Robert Mugabe and Bashar al-Assad. Are we really saying Donald Trump is the one we end up banning? This is a man who this week has gone on a remarkable charm offensive to Britain, he has said every time we need him militarily, he has going to be there. He said on trade, he has going to do a great new trade deal. Hold your nose if you don't he like him and put Britain's interests first. This comes after it emerged that Trump cancelled the proposed visit to open the US Embassy in London as a result of potential protests in the UK capital. Morgan said that Trump was absolutely mentally capable of being a successful president, despite claims in Michael Wolff's book Fire and Fury. He has a bowl in a china shop and he has not everyone's cup of tea, clearly, but he has a very interesting, maverick character. Watching him in Davos was fascinating, because I watched other world leaders like Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron, and they weren't getting much attention. But when Trump arrived it was like Mick Jagger had arrived and I think he has a massive force on the world stage. The former Daily Mirror editor also played down suggestions that he had given his friend a soft interview. It is generating a lot of news lines and the clips that people have already seen show I don't just give him an easy time. There is a more relaxed atmosphere, I always believe.